Hey guys, it's that panda guy. I wanted to come in here, explain a few things, and just show you me farming some zombies. I also wanted to mention that I might do some water war videos just to have videos popping out on this channel just for you guys. Um, to start off, I wanted to explain that level 15 and below zombies, if you hit them in the search, you can spawn them within the vicinity of your base, and above that are random spawns. Just so you know, I don't know if people knew that, but it is good to know if you want a quick zombie to, you know, farm up. I also want to kind of just say how I've been farming for so freaking long. I got... What the heck? Uh, so I basically have like 4,000 supply chests, which means I've killed 4,000 worth of zombies, which, you know, let's say five marches. You can... It counts all five of them, basically, as having a separate zombie kill. But this event's been going on for a few days, and I haven't even sent my marches home this oh, basically the whole time. Maybe maybe once or something. And this is, like, the only march, the one I'm on hovering on right now, that I went home, and it has, like, 500 consecutive marches. And as you can see, it's still pretty high up. You can argue the fact that I have Tier 5 out right now, which is true, and they're going to survive longer. But it's also still crazy. You could do this with Tier 4 troops. If you choose the right heroes, you can kind of see I have Jaden, I have Seo, I have Park, and I have xia i'm not gonna spell that name just so i like or say that name so i mess it up you guys kind of get a general idea that these marches have been lasting for so long these other marches all have like 800 consecutive kills on these zombies right now which if you don't understand that means they haven't gone home they've just been farming constantly and it's insane and the efficiency is great because one if you use five marches let's say on the first run you're gonna get you're gonna hit it for maybe around 250 stamina with all five marches but now i'm doing it for 190 if you're consecutively marching your your stamina at least goes down to 200 once you've hit enough zombies a uh, long enough and then depending on what stats you might have invested in some of your heroes if they have like um let's say zombie stats i don't know I don't know where I might have some zombie heroes at. Maybe this one. Yeah, zombie hunter. If you have some invested in the zombie hunter, it might go even cheaper, which is why you see it being at 190. But like I was I was just saying that so you guys could kind of understand that you save out on so much energy by using these heroes, mostly if you're doing a long haul. Like this is a long haul. I farmed 400 zombies worth of, 4,000 worth of zombies, which it's almost nearly 1,000 zombies in general, right? Like... You can see right here it's going to say like about 800 consecutive kills which is which is crazy which is actually crazy and i'm keeping it up i'm going to probably do a boxing unre uh, reveal for you guys so you can kind of see the rewards on another video maybe maybe after this one but i kind of just wanted to show you guys just me farming a bit kind of explain how it works and these just being zombie heroes that are monsters on the field against zombies but I hope that was kind of that's kind of enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoy. I also want to explain that I'm also using these heroes not only because they're better at zombies, but because well, most of my legendary heroes are maxed out, and I kind of want to max out my um, epic heroes since you know no reason not to while they're there. But I hope that was helpful, and you guys enjoy your day.